some executives at Twitter today. It was a meeting at Twitter, and they let them have it. And they said, you know, they weren't comfortable working there if uh, this guy was still, uh, in fact, on their platform. And uh, that was it. You know, th th I think that, that that's a big part of what happened today. You know, on Wednesday, I, I was leaked some internal Slack messages from Twitter, and they said, uh, I think fomenting a coup is a hard line. Like, we can draw a line at what, what's happening today. And, uh, you know, by the end of today, uh, that was it. You know, uh, tonight, uh, Twitter said no more uh, Donald Trump on their platform. And let me just show you, fomenting a coup literally means this kind of violence. This is a, a police officer basically being crushed in a doorway by the Trump mob. Let's play a little bit of that. And it's just a just warning, y'all. saw um, then people walking around with police shields wearing the police uniform parts meaning they had picked up and taken police uniform pieces the dc police chief robert conti claimed in a presser yesterday that there was no intelligence suggesting there could be a breach in the u.s capitol i've been watching you on tv all day that sounds like i hate to say it bullshit uh, it, is that true that they had no idea that this was going to get loud and violent uh it would be a massive intelligence failure if they truly believed that um First of all, I don't understand this this new talking point that I'm hearing that is that they didn't expect these specific people to be anti-cop. The Boogaloo movement is about taking down the government, you know, like literally going into the Capitol building and taking down the government. There, there, we we spent like the last six to seven months reporting on these uh, state houses being stormed with where uh, they were planning the literal uh, like hostage taking and murder of Michigan's governor. Uh, these people planned for this precise thing. We know they did. Um, the names of the events and merchandise they made were occupy the Capitol and storm the Capitol. We knew for a fact that was happening. And I, I really want to stress this. It, the thing they were debating on the internet was who they should kill, which people they should kill inside the Capitol. Um, they, they were told that if Mike Pence didn't overturn this election, that they needed to storm the Capitol and do something about it. And that's what they were talking about when you heard that Mike Pence audio. They thought that he had the wow. keys making Donald Trump dictator for life, and he chose not to do it. And, and to, you know, to just underscore that, Naveed, you've also been doing a lot of reporting, talking with law enforcement. It does not sound credible, to be honest with you, that they had no idea. Donald Trump was saying it's going to be wild. As Ben just said, people were all over Parler and 4chan and all these other things that the FBI could easily monitor uh, and Twitter saying what they were going to do. And, and as you mentioned, we were talking about this earlier, you already had a plot to kidnap and try and maybe kill the governor of Michigan. That just happened. So it's not as if there was no precedent for this kind of behavior. That's absolutely right. And that group, Joy, by the way, had connections to Timothy McVeigh. I mean, 20 years ago, the worst domestic terrorist attack by a U.S. citizen on American soil, and the group that, that Timothy McVeigh was connected to that met with him, a, a militia group, is now plotting to kidnap a sitting governor. And in the 20 years, nothing could have been done prior to that. That just tells me um, exactly the sort of how law enforcement looks at these groups, how they deprioritize the threat. And look, to, to Ben's point, I don't think this was necessarily an intelligence failure in the sense that they didn't know this was happening. I think that they failed to communicate it back adequately. And clearly, police failed to take the appropriate uh, steps to counter this. And well, as, as the Congresswoman said before, whether this was by design or by default, that's what happened. So yeah, it was absolutely an intelligence failure in the sense that, hey, no one took this seriously. And that's, in, that's insane. But no one took it seriously or they were complicit in me because it's either no one took it seriously yeah. or there were people inside. We just heard the Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal of Washington State say that it wasn't clear to her 